everybody, it's Kim from K Diamond Paints. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Thanks for visiting. And if you're returning, hey! How you are doing? All right, we have, I know it's, you can't tell, right? Where did it come from? DIY Choose, you guys, DIY Choose. This is my second review for them. I'm very excited. The first one was, oh, oh so scrumptious. Remember that? Oh so scrumptious. So adorable. It's a, so adorable, so loud. So loud. Let me just cut this up. Uh, nicely. Oh my god. What? I mean, careful of the knife. That's not a knife. That's a knife. It's not cutting. Okay, that's enough. That's that's enough. That's enough of that. Let's see what we have in here. Good stuff. I promise. I chose these things, so I'm pretty excited about it. We're going to open that one last. I have been staring at this diamond painting from everybody for so long. I can't wait. I can't wait. Well, clearly I can wait. Otherwise, I would open it first. Wow. Let's open up this one first. This one is fun. This is going to be so fun. I haven't seen these around and then all of a sudden it popped up and I was very excited about it. Do you know what it is? I bet some of you do. I bet some of you... Oh, here. Go ahead. Take a guess. All right. So we have a regular, just a regular toolkit for you with the boat, the wax, and the pen. We'll get any job done. Look at, we've got some special shapes. Okay, are you ready? I'll flip it over well here. Let's pull it out first. Ready? Ta-da, that doesn't help you at all, does it? But look at the pretty butterfly. Wow. Look at how many special shapes go on to this butterfly. Shut the front door. He is loaded down. Okay. It is... It's an apron. There. There you go. It's an apron. It even has two pockets up front here with the ties and the tie around the back. I wonder if this will fit me. Okay, I just slipped it on. Yes, it does fit me. I'm so excited. I'm excited for this. I have always needed an apron. I, you know, when you wear your jeans, I'll, I'll show you a shirt here. Okay, please don't judge me by this shirt. This shirt is 17, 18 years old at this point. It's like cleaning house shirt. But here is what happens to me. I'm all the time cooking, right? Cooking, cleaning in the kitchen. And I keep leaning up and it hits the shirt, hits the button on my jeans. And I keep rubbing holes in all my shirts. See that? This one is extreme because it's so old. But I get new shirts and I always think, oh, I have to tuck them in or something. Otherwise, they start getting all these little holes in them that eventually turn into this. And I ruin all my t-shirts. So I thought I have got to get an apron one of these days. And then this came up at DIY Choose and I said, you guys, thank you. Are we ready to look at the special shapes? This will be neat. I'll just hang it up. It is it is a lighter material. It's not um, a heavy cotton. Is it cotton? It's gotta be polyester, am I right? Yeah, all right. But how pretty will that be? And just hang it up on a hook and oh. Throw it on every time I come into the kitchen so I don't every year I buy a new white and a new black t-shirt that um, every summer I should say at the end of the summer they're done and then the winter time I buy a long sleeve and then they're done because they get holes in them. All right look at this. This is a black AB. And AB, you guys, stands for Aurora Borealis. And it's this coating, iridescent coating that they put on regular drills. And look at this. Oh, 
What a turquoise. Oh, come on now with this fuchsia pink. That is gorgeous. A little bit of gold. <gasps> Ooh, that is a neat blue. I don't even know how to describe that blue. A pretty blue? How's that? It's a pretty blue. <laughs> I'm so descriptive. It's a lovely, pretty, gorgeous blue. How's that? Ooh, look at all the blue. Look at this one. And then here is some special. This is like an orange iridescent round. Look at this one. This is a smooth top yellow. I hope you can see all these. Is this focusing at all? Oh, yeah. Look at that iridescent one. So right, and let's see. Um, then they have letters on the front here. Yep, they each have letters, and I'm hoping, did anybody pay attention when we pulled this up? Yep, it's all letters. Oh, numbers. But it's all on the bag. Yep, it's all on the bag. So you just follow along with the bag when you open up. And there you have got yourself the cutest little, oh my gosh, apron. I absolutely love it. Stone special shapes total. Um, it fits great. It's nice lightweight. It has the two pockets. It's adorable. I love it. I'm not going to seal it. I think they're on there solid. I'll let you know if they fall off. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, on to an actual diamond painting. But as far as all those like extra projects, you know, like boxes and clocks and everything, I love that one. That, I can, I can really use that. The storage boxes and that one. Those are my favorites so far for extra projects. Okay, what have we got here? Regular toolkit? Yep, regular toolkit. Give you a peek at the colors. Ooh, look at those deep greens. Pretty nice. Ready? Let's see if I'm even going to turn this over right. <gasps> I turned it over right. Oh, wait, wait. I turned it over right and he doesn't want his day open. Oh, let's, let's try wrapping back. So these are poured glue, so you can manipulate these if you were to have the opaque cover on it. Also known as, AKA, double-sided adhesive. Don't do this at all. This is just a poured glue thing. But let's see if we can get it to lie down. There! Isn't that pretty? Sweet summertime. I love it. Watermelon. Oh, that is such a cute one. Oh, I didn't even notice this, that the letters are watermelon. I didn't even notice that in the listing. How did I not notice that? Yeah, like the, the watermelon and the rind. Oh. So this is, let's take a closer look. Very clear. It's got those circle bubbles, color bubbles around the letters again which i'm seeing i love that how they um let's pick out a good see the z's where am i even see the z's how the color kind of goes in a bubble around it so it acts as kind of a guide circle without being a guide circle this is a 40 by 30 and here's your cutie little thumbnail right here isn't that adorable here's the key how many colors? All letters so far, yeah? Letters, letters, letters. Nice 20. We could go straight if we wanted to. I love this one. This one, it looks, it's a little bit of a chalkboard background. It's hard to tell like this. Oh, wow. Not bad on the stick either. 
it's kind of hard to tell like this, but the listing photo that I just put up, I think it was under the chalkboard um, pictures. I could do a million chalkboard pictures. I just love them. So that's super cute. Let's look at the drills because I'm excited to see watermelon colors. Here we go. This is probably all going to have to move out of the way. Oh, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> is everybody okay it's like we're filming a disaster movie in here <laughs> all over just like a 3865 or what is it 20 i'm guessing it's 3865 oh my gosh you guys come on get it together kim be professional gray and black <laughs> you almost ended up on the floor not quite but it was close. I caught you. Ooh, see like that. That's a pretty pink. There's a pretty pink. Oh, that's blue. Can you see? Oh, yeah, you can see. It's blue. I don't think it's 939, though. Eight, I'll go look later. Oh, the greens. Ooh. Oh, more pink and green, the whole thing. You can't go wrong. This is like um, army green. I love it, both of those. More peachy pink, more green. Oh, this is delightful. Absolutely delightful palette. And then more greens. How many shades of green do we have? I think we have all shades of green in here. Oh, this is just so pretty. Okay, on to the next one. Hey, that, that number eight, that blue was um, 823, not 939, in case anybody was just on the edge of their seat for that one. Here we go. There's a new Look at there's like four bags. This is always curious to me. How do you get some of these that have like four bags and some that don't? I wonder, you know, they have a company that just does baggies. Okay, look at the drills. I had to stop the video. I, got, I don't know if you can see. I got a mosquito bite like right on right there. I mean, how do they find you like that? Is that not crazy? Oh my gosh, just, it's just like, you can't believe. All right, oh, what are we doing this for? I am all confused. I'm so itchy, I'm all confused. Okay, so this is, if you saw, I did a little event last um, February. I don't know, I had a crazy name. We're probably gonna do the event in February, but we are not doing that name, you guys. We're thinking of another. I chose the name for my own event and I couldn't remember it. What? What is that about? Anyway, this is like a companion diamond painting to that one. Are you ready? Here we go. Are we all flattened out? Can you see it? Oh, move it up, move it up, move it up. See that, choose love? Isn't that just the prettiest book? Look at the background on this. I can't wait to see the background color for this. Look at with the flowers. See, choose love and the butterflies. It's a 30 by 40. My other one's a 30 by 40. So I'll be interested to see how the drill fields on the two match up, right? And here we go. They actually match up perfectly. When does that ever happen? I thought this one is just downstairs. How lazy am I? Pretty, pretty. But I managed to walk myself downstairs and back upstairs with the diamond painting. This is from the, like I said, the February event. So I added in for the event, I added in all this AB and rhinestones. So this one's a bit dressed up. And I'm wondering if I need to do that with this one then for the two to match up, but see how they're the same stuff. I love it. I just love these two. Should I get three, three together? My gosh, that would be pushing my luck to see if I could get three diamond paintings whose drill fields all match up together. But anyway, I just wanted to show you, they look great together, don't they? I just love it. Okay, back to this, this one. Let's go, let's complete this. We have the 30 by 40. There is the thumbnail with the listing photo. And here, let's take a look at the, the key. Nice key. You can see over the canvas that it's got the square colors on it. Oh no, look at the seven is bubbled. The L is bubbled. P is square. So they're squares and circles. They want to give equal time to everybody. I appreciate that. 
21. Ooh, it's 5,200. I do have 5,200 ABs out there. See that? We've got square and round colors. It looks great. Looks fabulous. Ooh, that is some skater glue right there, though. Skater glue just means it's a little less stick. You'll have a little bit more leeway to move your drills around if they should fall down. Should we see the drills? Drills. We're talking about drills. Okay, here are our drills. So this one has 21 colors. The other one I just showed you had 28 colors. So this one, I hope, has some spectacular colors to keep up. I mean, the background, I think, is going to do it. That, I can't wait to see what color that is. Oh, here we go. I can't wait to see what color that is. All right. 21 colors starting from one, hopefully. Is this one? That's 20. There's 21 color. Oh, here. All right, here we go. Here's the information that it has on here. I'm not sure what this one is. This one is the canvas code, and then that's the corresponding number. That's interesting. I don't think it's DMC, is it? No, because it's 164 is the first one. Anyway, here we go with all the pretty, oh, I love it already. <laughs> I'm so easy. I'm a terrible person to do reviews. I like everything. Ooh, I love that yellow. Oh, but you could tell from the listing photo that this was going to be just a very fun combination of gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Is that the background? Hold on. Let me pull it down here. 14, 14 is P. Yes, this is a background. Oh, I love it. Isn't that a fun color to have to work with so much, you know, so much of the background color? Blue, pink, ooh. Oops, sorry, we're getting, here we go. If I go like this, we'll be better. <gasps> like a neon, limey green. Oh, pretty yellow. And then let's see what I threw over here. Yep, this is all more background color. Look it. What a spectacular color to have four bags of. Five? One, two, three, four, five bags of. I stand corrected. And that's the little bit of 5,200. So the question is then, when I do this, if I alter it in ways like I did the other one so that they match up, seems like 5,200 is an easy switch out. I don't know if I'll go the whole rhinestone route. I don't like, you know, I do it for fun because it's just fun to change things out. I'm not so sure if I like the look of the diamond paintings after I change them so much. I really, you call me a purist, how's that? I just like drills. So um, I don't know if I'll do that to this one or not because now I'm seriously thinking, you know, when I did the first one, I was just doing it for fun. Now that I have two the same, I'm seriously thinking of um, framing them and putting up as a duo. So we'll see, we'll see, on to the last one. Okay, here we go, last one. I am so excited for this image. I have been seeing this since I started diamond painting a couple years ago, and I have always wanted it. I don't know why I haven't purchased it until now, but I am so thrilled, and I just have my fingers crossed that it turns out. Um, is this taking too long? Oh, you guys, I have to share with you. I am so sorry if it takes too long. Look at this comment I got. I am boring someone to tears. And look at her hand on me. <laughs> That's perfect. And I say to her, you know, I am, <laughs> I am so sorry. Thanks for trying my channel. And I guess this is where we part ways. <laughs> I'm boring her to tears. Oh, I think we're going to have to change angles. I think this is going to be too big. Look it. Oh, look at all the colors. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, look, they even knew. They said this one's going to take two, two, two dual kits. All right, let's maybe move sides. Okay, you can see this is a big one. This is a 40 by 80. Are you ready? I'm so excited. Here we go. 
Oh, wow. It's a beauty, right? I just love this. And I knew that, I think this is why I haven't purchased this before. I knew it's so detailed with all these little flowers on the side that to get any clarity out of this, you would need to be bigger. And I think you need to be bigger than this even, than the 40 by 80. I think if you went one size up, it would be even better. But you have to choose. Do you want a monster? Can you? Do you have room to hang that even somewhere? Or do you want this, which I think is exactly a perfect medium. I can see these flowers. I can see all of these. The only thing that gets lost a little bit are these right here. Um, but the colors are so beautiful. So let me show you, I'm just gonna put, I'll slide this this way and I'll put the um, thumbnail right here so you can see what I mean when you look at them side by side about all the little flowers. And you just, oh, to get clarity out of this image, it's just gonna need to be huge. So yeah, I'm very happy with this size. I'm glad I finally picked this one up. This is so beautiful. Do you wanna see closer? Let me show you the key. Here's what's shocking after staring, standing here and looking at this for so long, right? Look at the key and look how many colors there are. 24, are you serious? How is this 24 colors? That is, that is crazy to me. This looks like 35, 40 colors at least. Maybe because, oh, 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 careful with what you're doing to the flowers. There we go. Maybe because so much of it is this turquoise background. Oh, I wonder if it's that turquoise color again. Did I get two like that? Here, I'll bring you back down so we can look at drills. Okay, we're back down closer to the floor. This is a closer look. It's it's so pretty. I, I really enjoy this image. As I said, I knew it was going to be somewhat pixelated. I knew that. And it's um, absolutely acceptable to me. Because all the colors are just going to be gorgeous. All right, let's see what we have for colors. Is this one? I want to start with one. Oh, look at this packaging. Everything you could ever want and then some. I have no idea. Corresponding, DMC, canvas, whole lots of information. Thanks, I guess. So let's just start off with the 310 and it just goes exciting from there. Look at, is that the same color, you guys? Two and two, yep. Great, oh my gosh, what is that? Four is 321. Beautiful. Grays. Maybe that's 550. <gasps> what is this one? You know what this one is? Yeah, <laughs> it's like butter. Parquet. Oh, there's two of them. Actually, you know what? Now that I did that whole thing, I don't think that's the butter one. It's not yellow enough for the butter, huh? Blue, green, brown. There's going to be everything. Burgundy. What can't be in this thing? But only 24 colors. There's green. Oh, more pink. Hold on. We got another strip here. We got to finish her up strong. Ooh. I love this blue. There we go. More kind of grayish, grayish blue, grayish green. Make sure everybody's color covered. <gasps> this one I totally enjoy. Oh, look at this. What a 70s funky color. I love it. Oh, that's so pretty. So you know what? Hold on. I mean, I know it's running long now, but what is X? X is, oh yeah, X is that last one in the background. So it can't be too much of it because there's only one bag. <gasps> Just gorgeous. Okay, here we are at the end. DIY choose. I just wanted to show you if you noticed in the little fast forward video, I did use the tray and the pen that came with the kit. 
it worked fantastically. Except when you get to these big ones, those you can just place, I use tweezers, you can just place those by hand. But speaking of those big ones, look at how many are left. Look at this, there was what, you used four and they gave me an entire bag. I am so excited to have all these leftovers for other just random projects that I'm that I'm doing, but yeah, and I love it. So it worked out wonderfully. Thank you to DIY Choose for allow for sending me these wonderful products and so I could do a review for you. And thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys all have a great day. Bye-bye.